we're going to look at a factoring strategy called difference of squares. And when you would use this strategy, the clues for that are actually right in the title. So in math, the word difference usually refers to um, something to do with subtraction. So the answer to a subtraction question. When we think about squares, we think about two dimensional objects, length times width. And in a square, the length and the width are identical. So when you're trying to find the area of the square, you're going to times a number by itself. So squares are numbers times themselves. So for example, one squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is 16. Um, so one, four, nine, 16, then 25, 36, 49, and so on are all perfect square numbers. In addition, any term that has um, a variable with an even exponent is also a perfect square because x times x is x squared. x squared times x squared is x to the power of 4. x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 3 is x to the power of 6 and so on. So differences of squares occur when we have uh, an expression, a polynomial that has um, subtraction in it and also includes all perfect square, either numbers or variables. We have actually already looked at an example of a perfect square um, factoring. Um, so for example, when we were looking at type one trinomials, we did an example where we wrote out a trinomial with uh, zero for the B value. So when we had X squared minus 25, we recognized that because there's no X term here, we could think of that X term as being a zero. So X squared minus 25 can be written as X squared plus zero X minus 25. And if we do man on that, uh, we know we need to find two numbers that multiply to 25 and add to zero, and those two numbers are negative five and five. So when we factor x squared minus 25, we know that the factors are x minus 5, x plus 5. Um, and if we just look at a little bit of a shortcut here, if we think about the difference of square strategy, first of all, there's two terms here being subtracted. So there's our difference. x squared is a perfect square and 25 is a perfect square. So if we look at the connection between our original polynomial and our factored form, you will notice that the first term x squared, if we take the square root of x squared, we get x. So the first term in our factors is going to be an x and an x because we wanna be able to times these two together and get our x squared back. The second term in our um, in our each of our brackets is going to be connected to this 25. We know that the square root of 25 is 5. So we're going to have a 5 here and a 5 here because we want to have um, 5 times 5, which is 25. And because this is subtracted, that tells us that one of these has to be negative and one of, this has to, one of these has to be positive. It doesn't matter the order because a multiplication order is not important, but x minus 5 times x plus 5 when we multiply this back out, will give us our x squared minus 25. Um, and then if you also just think about it, uh, if you were to do FOIL on this, you're going to get x squared, you're gonna get 5x, negative 5x, and then negative 25. And those two middle terms, the 5x and the negative 5x, end up canceling each other out, which is why you're left with a binomial being subtracted with perfect squares um, for both of the terms. So this is a difference of squares that can be written as a trinomial. And I'll just give you one more example and we'll see if we can do this one a little bit quicker, okay? So if I give you x squared minus 100, you can think of that as a trinomial like we did up here and put in that zero um, x term. But now we have a strategy for doing it a little bit quicker. So for example, I know that the first term has, first two terms in my factors have to multiply to give me my x squared. So the square root of x squared is x, so the first term is going to be x times x. I know that the, my second terms in my binomial are going to have, binomials in the factors are going to have to multiply to give me negative 100. Well, the square root of 100 is 10, so if I put 1 as positive 10, 1 as minus 10, negative 10, um, that will give me my negative 100 when I multiply them back out. So x squared minus 100 in factored form is going to be x plus 10 times x minus 10. And again, you can reverse that to get x minus 10 times x plus 10 as well. 
Um, and again, if we think about it, if we quickly FOIL this out to make sure that this in fact is um, the expanded form, x times x is x squared, x times negative 10, negative 10x, um, positive 10 times x is positive 10x, and then positive 10 times negative 10 is negative 100. Those two middle terms, the negative 10x and the positive 10x, cancel each other out, so all you're left with is your x squared and your negative 100. So recognizing this difference of squares, um, so we have a perfect square at the front, we have a perfect square at the end, and then subtraction between the two, that allows us to actually factor these fairly quickly. Uh, it also allows us to um, apply this strategy to some polynomials that don't follow that trinomial uh, pattern. So for example, if I have 16y to the power of 4 minus 36. So this doesn't really look like one of those trinomial patterns that we talked about earlier. However, if I look here, I've got a binomial. The terms are being subtracted. 16 is a perfect square. y to the power of 4 is a perfect square. And 36 is a perfect square. So I'm going to set up my brackets. So I've got my two brackets here. And I know that when I multiply the first term in my two brackets, they've got to multiply to give me 16y to the power of 4. The square root of 16y to the power of 4 is 4y squared. 4y squared times 4y squared will give you 16y to the power of 4. So I'm going to put 4y squared at the beginning of each bracket. The square root of 36 we know is 6. So if I put a plus 6 in one of the brackets and a minus 6 in one of the, the other bracket, I know that positive 6 times negative 6 is going to give me my negative 36 back. Um, and I know that if I were to FOIL this out, my two middle terms, because one of them would be positive and one would be negative with the same numbers in them, will cancel out. So this multiplied out would give me my 16y to the power of 4 negative 30 minus 36 back. So the, the key for difference of squares, first of all, is that we're looking to see that we have all perfect square numbers um, and variables in our um, polynomial that it's a binomial, we've got two uh, terms in it and they're being subtracted. And once we recognize that, factoring it becomes really quickly when we take the square root of the first term and the second term and then set them up in our brackets, one bracket with a plus between the terms and one bracket with a minus between the terms.